As a gentleman, your closer shouldn't just make your going to work easier. It's for every place you might end up going to. Today on Slays, we are talking about gentleman's fashion, the essentials of a gentleman's wardrobe. My name is Maud Adi. This is Slayers. A quick turn. We are back after this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Francis Abuji. I'm the head of digital marketing. Welcome to Power Grid. Welcome to Fairnot, Ghana's biggest furniture manufacturing place. With over four decades of manufacturing furniture, we are your best place for handling all your furniture projects. Welcome back. Today I'm so excited because I'm being joined by only guys. I get excited when I'm being joined by only guys. I heard recently someone asked me, you guys always talk about ladies, ladies. When are you guys going to talk about, I mean, we the guys? Yes. So today it's all about you, the guys. If you're a guy or if you're a lady sitting somewhere, call your girl, call your boyfriend to come and sit by you because you're going to learn a lot today. We are talking about, I mean, men's fashion, the essentials of a gentleman's wardrobe. Joining us to do this discussion is um, FB Amani, who is a style consultant. FB Amani, how are you? Cool. We are glad to have you on Slayers. Thank you. I've seen your videos a lot and I've seen what you've been doing on social media. Even Eric said, there is this guy on social media. You should check him out. <laughs> Thank you. How is it going and how is business? Great as always. Okay. All right. So next to FB, Amani is a businessman and an entrepreneur who is the CEO of um, Oceans B Property, Leslie Brobe. Leslie, how are you? Very well. Thank you. How are you? doing handling business with i mean fashion because we've seen you a lot and i know you have a great fashion sense um fashion is about the way you want to present yourself your outlook so it's not exactly something that i tend to go out of my way to project it's just a part of me so mm. that's how i live but have you heard i mean i've, I've heard a number of times if you're a businessman i mean what is fashion you don't need fashion do you, th do you think it's um businessmen are not supposed to be I mean, fashion enthused. I don't know if I'm really fashion enthused. I'm more about style enthused. Okay, I'm more style, interested yeah. in style mm -hmm. because I've got an image or style that I like to portray and I'm consistent with it. So it's not about me trying to be fashionable or anything. It's just about me just presenting a style and that's it. Okay, all right. So joining us again for the first time, all of them are joining us for the first time. Right, Sitting right opposite me is um, style influencer Eric Aqua. How are you, Eric? I'm very well, yourself? Very well. I'm glad to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I'm also happy to be here. All right. You, look, you all look awesome. Thank I you. believe you're going to have an amazing time today. A very good show. Yeah. Okay. This, this topic or this show actually means a lot to me because I want to be that lady whereby, I mean, you meet someone and then you're, you're trying to help the person. Even you're a lady, you're trying to help the person out. Like a gentleman, the person will like, hey, I mean, how are you doing? Or how did you do it? It's, so it means a lot to me. I hope I'm going to, I hope I learn a lot and I hope my viewers also learn a lot from this. Now, how do you build a perfect wardrobe or how do you put your closet in order? Uh, first of all, being a gentleman mm -hmm. has nothing to do with the circumstances of one's breath or one's accent. Okay. Being a gentleman is something one learns. Okay. It's been at ease in your own skin. Okay, so you can learn to be a gentleman. Sure. It's not a personality quirk or something that is outlandish mm. or something you turn on and off like a switch. It's a lifestyle. Okay, it's yeah. a lifestyle. And so how do you build a perfect wardrobe? Mm. First, you have to master what I call the personal image formula, PIF. Okay. 
PIS. Where TS is equal to F1 times F2 times F3. Wow. TS being <laughs> timeless style, F1 fit, okay. and F, F2 function, and F3 fabric. Okay. With this personal image formula, mm. you can stand out among any other stylish civilians, anywhere, anytime, any day. Okay, great. Great. Leslie. <laughs> Wow, he's confused me now. <laughs> <laughs> he's confused me too. <laughs> well, for me, I, I just think as, as, a, as a man, there's, um, there are essentially about 20 items that every person should have in their wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And for me, these things are like a um, pair of blue jeans, mm -hmm. a white t-shirt, okay. um, a white shirt, mm -hmm. A, a, a suit, for instance, you should have like a, a single breasted, at least mm. you should have a blue and a grey one. Mm. You need to have like a cashmere jumper, have um, broke shoes, like a brown one, a black yeah. lace-up shoes. You need to have like a pair of sunglasses. You need um, cufflinks. You need, um, what's it called, a sports jacket, which you can wear with your, can team up with your jeans or any other the item you can wear chinos you can have like a blue and a, a khaki chinos mm -hmm. and a few other items that can be an umbrella and little things like that mm -hmm. so if you've got those in your wardrobe mm -hmm. that will prepare you for every function that you want to go to okay. in this life because you'd have the whole thing, including a tuxedo as well mm -hmm. so you need to have a tuxedo in your in your wardrobe and if you've got these 20 items i'm convinced you can be able to function at at any way. level, so wherever you want to go to. But also, I'll add, also, you probably need trainers to go to the gym and little bits and pieces like that. Okay. All right. Great. <laughs> Eric. Nice. Are you also confused? I'm not. I, I actually want to go back to what Evie Amani said, or the sort of formula he was trying to tell us. Mm -hmm. He mentioned fabric. Mm -hmm. He mentioned fit. Mm -hmm. And um, when you put all these things together, mm -hmm. irrespective of whether you are, what you are wearing, mm -hmm. whether it's a sport jacket, whether it's a tuxedo, you have to make sure that the fabric is on point. Right. I mean, everyone who is in, into suits will tell you that the fabric is very, very Key. important. Your fit, you can't just wear anything like that. I mean, I see uh, most of our parliamentarians, that's the, the excuse that I use. You mm -hmm. see them with trousers that you can did you that two people can wear? You get me? <laughs> yes. The legs are big. Very big. <laughs> very, very big. So if you're a gentleman, if you are going out there to get a suit, your fit is key. It is very important. You can't just wear anything and say, I'm wearing a suit. Mm. I mean, there are certain things that you do not have to wait for someone to tell you. You must know your body type. Okay, I have a pot's belly. Okay. Am I supposed to go with a single-breasted or I'm supposed to go with a double-breasted? Right. You get so it. this thing, body type, is not just for the ladies. I mean, no, the guys I, I, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. From what I know and mm. what I have learned, okay. it's not just for ladies. Okay. You must know yeah, what is good for, for you. You. Okay. you must know what you wear that you be comfortable. Mm. I mean, I've seen people in uh, some places or some occasions that, you know, from the moment you meet them, you would see that what they are wearing, they are not comfortable, oh. like they are suffering, mm. like they are struggling for breath. Mm -hmm. That is not fashion to me. Mm. Okay, so do you think keeping up the closet perhaps makes you ready for, I mean, anything, any day? Yes, it is very important as a gentleman. I mean, if you are a corporate worker, I mean, if you have your own business, you know what you wear every day. Mm. If you have occasions on weekends, you know where you will go. And it is very important for you to arrange these things that mm -hmm. when you wake up and you turn to the left side of your wardrobe, mm -hmm. you are going for something that will take you to a wedding or yeah. something that will take you to a dinner. dinner. Okay. It is very important. Okay. And you must know how to keep all these things. You In do order. not wa want to wake up one morning when you are late for work or when you are late for a function, then you'll be struggling, you'll be pulling your everything mm. up and down mm. that is not proper okay. you must know where to arrange them mm. so that even if you are not home and you call someone okay go to my wardrobe open this side the person should be able to find what you are looking for okay. without any struggle right 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 absolutely you, you see this is this is one tip that style experts like my brother and eric i mean they know mm. you see it saves time and also helps you avoid what i call decision fatigue Mm. So keeping your closet in order mm. helps you to, to, to be ready, ready for, for any, any day. day. Absolutely. And is it possible to sometimes forget? I mean, 
we sometimes forget that we have this kind of outfit in our wardrobe once in a while when you go in there to maybe you're looking out for another thing then you 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 find out that oh i have this outfit there is it possible for you to i mean forget some of the things that you have that's why that you keep your closet in order it's possible it is possible see, oftentimes we we shove pieces into our into our closet without without uh, uh, realizing them mm. over time mm. and and we buy them because we think we will wear them mm -hmm. we buy them because for that special occasion in the future which came mm. or never came which never came mm. or came but we ended up wearing something different mm. and so i tell people don't keep anything for special occasions the fact that you are alive is the special occasion Okay. So, you in addition to that, what happens in my case is when you when you arrange your clothes or when you pile them up, you can pile them in different a uh, different level. So, mm -hmm. for instance, if you put one at the bottom, and most 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 of the case most of the time in my cases, things at the front are the ones that I'll pick up first. So mm -hmm. then you might have some at the back of the pile which you probably have overlooked for a while. Right. So unless you rotate in your clothes within the wardrobe. It's probably likely that you forget about something that you you probably purchased some time ago. You maybe have worn it before, but haven't worn it for a while. And that's probably the, in my situation. That's what tends to happen. Okay, but Leslie, do you have things um, in your closet that you are, I mean, you are no more wearing, but you're still keeping them? Yeah, because you know, saying clothes are sentimental. Like your ex-girlfriend that you really loved, you know, she bought you a shirt, and you just feel like, no, I can't just overlook that shirt <laughs> because if I do, then yeah, maybe. That connection that I have with her might probably be, <laughs> be, be broken. So you keep it in there just for posterity. And, and, and don't you think they are taking space? Indeed, it's taking space, but it's got a special reason why you're keeping it. So for that reason, you're holding on so to it. So it is necessary for you to keep things that you're no more using in your closets when oh. you have new things still coming in. Yeah, well, I guess, like I said, for sentimental reasons, you keep things. So it, it's for a reason why you're keeping it. It's not just for the sake of it. Okay. But then sometimes we, we get people who just are hoarders, who just hold on to things. It's difficult to get rid of things because it's in their nature. They like to hold things. So if, you have, if you've cut from that cloth, then it's always going to be difficult to get rid of your old stuff. Okay. Eric? Well, I think your question is coming from the background that most ladies have lots of clothes in their wardrobe yes. and sometimes you, uh, wow, wow, I still have this. this. Yes. I think most guys also do. It's, it's, it's very very important for i mean someone who is into suits probably because i'm into that i'll say a lot mm. when you are into suit there are some basic essentials that you have like your flying tie your bow tie your shirts your packet square i mean there are a couple of all these things that you buy when you are shopping and sometimes it could even be a packet square it does not necessarily need to be a suit it is something that you use when you are dressing up so there are times you go into your wardrobe and you remember, oh, I bought this red packet square. I've not worn it for about three or five oh, months yeah. now. Mm. Okay, let me see if it will go with what I'm wearing today. Mm. So it happens to everyone. It happens to guys and it happens to ladies. Um, I think of late, grooming has become critical. You need to, like, nobody wants to have misplaced hair or you need to actually exfoliate. You need to, like, do your nails. You need to make sure, like, um, you've, got like a good haircut you smell good so those little qualities actually helps to embellish a, a gentleman and i think those bits are quite critical okay uh, well uh, the science of include cognition tells us that the clothes we wear affect how we see ourselves so as a gentleman it's very important that you take very good care of your clothes mm -hmm. how you smell like leslie said mm -hmm. how you smell mm -hmm. and grooming as well okay yeah. Okay. Yes, I think they've said virtually mm, everything. Yes. And grooming is very important, especially mm. for those who, what do you call it now? Is it beard gang or something mm, like that? Beard gang, I, yes. I, I'm not a fan <laughs> of that. But I think... Maybe because you don't have... <laughs> oh, it, looks, of, it looks good for some people, you know, even for some ladies love it. That's an argument for another day. <laughs> yes. But I don't think... I need to keep my beard for what I'm sta I stand for or what I want mm. as, as the style that I have or what I want to portray. Okay. I don't think keeping a beard will 
make my look stand out the way I want it. Okay. They also have their reasons for keeping their beard. You okay. get me? And you well, should not. That, but a beard, which which ones? Like, is it like Leslie's? <laughs> No, but let's let this. Let's this one is natural. I mean, yeah. I know those who apply uh, creams and stuff like that to have huge, huge ones. Huge ones, okay. And those are the ones you ladies are in love with now. <laughs> but some. Okay, I get it. But as I said, I mean, if you know what you stand for, if you know the kind of style you want to put out there, mm -hmm. you either decide to go for a beard or just go for a normal one. Mm -hmm. Because I have a friend who is very hairy, and every day I see him with shaves trying to i mean groom himself and everything like that you get me mm. so grooming kit is very important mm. you also need to smell good mm. i mean have you had an experience that you walk past someone and you turn back and go like wow yes that is a mark of a gentleman okay. unless you have some special cases like what i have mm. i mean i have serious issues with nasal issues. I mean, okay. if I should carry a perfume on me, I'll be having cold or I mean, okay. I mean a lot of issues right. with that. But as a gentleman, you should smell good, mm. whether you are wearing a fragrance or not. Mm. I mean, when someone passed by you, the person shouldn't have anything like, ah, what is this? You get me? Mm. You should smell good. Those are very important. Mm. And your shoes, your shoes are very important. I would like to hear ladies go like, hmm, I saw these nice? shoes yeah. and I like these mm, shoes. It looks nice. Yes. So shoes are very important. You have to have a very good pair of shoes. Mm. After the shoes, I mean, you can buy $10,000 worth of shoes, but how do you keep them? Mm -hmm. Keeping them is very important. Do you just go home after an event, then you throw them somewhere? Mm. Or you go home, you take them off, you clean them, and you put them at the right place? Mm. So these tips are very, very important for every gentleman. Okay, let's, let's look at the beard again. So that, does that mean that if you have a lot of beard, because I have seen, I mean, guys with a lot of beards and they look, I mean, very good, gentle. When, I tell you, when they dress, you fall in love with it. Does that make you a gentleman or it doesn't make you a gentleman because you have chest I, I think he's from the old school, I'm from the new school. <laughs> and although I may be older than him, <laughs> You know, I might be older than him, but he, he's still, you know, arguing from like the old school where you have to be clean shaven. Nowadays, clean shaven is kind of an anachronism. Mm -hmm. It's old. Nobody, most young people tend to have like a beard and, and so it's fashionable. So, um, funny enough, most black people tend to have a beard. It's white people that like to be clean shaven. So, mm -hmm. for me, I think there's a big difference there. But... It's a matter of opinion. I, I don't think having a beard or not actually makes you or not make you a gentleman. A gentleman. Right. It shouldn't make any difference. Right. And plus, some people also carry a beard because of religious reasons. The Sikhs and um, the Muslims, mm -hmm. some of them have to wear it for mm -hmm. religious reasons. So you can't just condemn them and just condemn a whole race of people mm -hmm. and say, mm -hmm. just because they're carrying a beard, that implies they're not gentlemen. But I, I, I do understand I him in a way because I mean, some people carry it and it, it looks too bushy. That It looks nasty, like it doesn't look nice. But, but let's, let's Let's get this straight. I didn't say when you wear a beer, it, it, it is not good or yeah. it's not for a gentleman. What I'm saying is that... Keep it clean. No, keep it clean. You have your style. Mm -hmm. The kind of style that you have, the kind of style that you want to put out there mm -hmm. for people to recognize you or for mm -hmm. people to be able to identify you easily. Mm -hmm. Does it go Does it go with keeping a beard mm -hmm. or it's better you keep it like how I'm keeping mine? Mm -hmm. That is what I said. For me, I think that with what I put out there, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. This is what fits me. This is what I'm comfortable in. This so is your brand. This is my brand. So if you are out there and you think that keeping a beard is good for your looks, that's it. But you must learn how to clean them. You mm -hmm. must learn how to appear uh, in public so that everybody will be happy. You shouldn't be... I mean, you've seen some beers around that, I mean, you can keep... What do you call it? You can keep, <laughs> you can save money in them. I mean, they look very bushy. You, right. you get me? Yeah. Right. So as a gentleman, if you are wearing a beard, you should be able to know how to keep it. That's all. Okay. Every man. Oh. Are we good? Well, well, I always tell my clients to focus on a classic style first mm. before trying to develop their own personal style with, with trends and mm -hmm. all that. So that is, I mean, this, they've said all. Mm. Okay, you, I've seen a video of you talking about, I mean, even shoe kits, you need to have a 
shoe kits and all of that. Yes. Yes. So it means as a gentleman, you aside your clothes and then your shoes and all those things, you need to be having the shoe kits, which is like the shoe polish, the brush and all those brush, yeah. kind of things. So all those things count. It counts. In you being a gentleman or the essentials of I mean your wardrobe. It does. It does. It's 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 a mark of a detail oriented person. Okay. Or a detail oriented gentleman. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now let's touch on some of the key things, the essentials. Leslie has already mentioned some one or two things. Is there something that you would want to add? Uh, uh, I mean, as a gentleman, we need to have. Well, I think he, he said it. almost everything, mm. but uh, I would like to add something. You know, you need, as a gentleman, you need a well fitted suit. Okay. I was not born a suit person. This was a statement made by one of my clients. Okay. And I stood with my arms akimbo. And I'm like, no one was born a suit person or with some magical intuition on how to dress well. You become a virtuoso by learning the various rules, the cars, the styles, the patterns, and so on. And so as a gentleman, you need a well-fitted suit. Again, an undershirt. This is a gentleman's best friend. And it's my best friend too, you okay. know. <laughs> you know, and, and, and there are three reasons I recommend uh, an undershirt to a gentleman. Okay. One, it prevents pit pulls from staining your dress shirt. Okay. Two, it protects against porcupine in chest hair. Okay. If you are that kind of gentleman that have hair on your chest, mm. uh, an undershirt will help will help protect that from showing out. And also, it keeps you from being the butt of the joke. And I said, imagine uh, you, 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 you bend to pick something, and all your boxes and everything is showing. showing. It, it, I mean, that's not right. Okay. So yeah, these are the three reasons I recommend an undershirt to a gentleman. Right, OK. Is there any essentials you would want to add? Yes, I want to talk about watch. Watch, the wrist it's watch. A wrist watch. It's very important. And I know there's a whole lot of arguments about whether you should wear it on your left mm -hmm. or your right. I've had someone asking me before, yes. <laughs> so you should have a, a very good pair of wristwatch. It's very important. As a gentleman, if you are walking somewhere and someone asks you, I mean, what's the time? I mean, you shouldn't be looking for your phone. So long as you have a watch on, you should be able to look at your watch and tell the time. It is very important. All right, so we are learning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a quick break. I'm sure you're also learning. Let's go for a quick break. We'll be right back. Ghana's biggest furniture manufacturing place. With over four decades of manufacturing furniture, we are your best place for handling all your furniture projects. Welcome back. You're watching Slayers, where everything stays absolute class. And we are talking about, I mean, men's fashion today. We are learning a lot. <laughs> okay, so before we went on the break, we were talking about the, some of the key things. That, yeah, we were talking about the watch, actually. And Leslie, you were saying something about the watch. Yeah, I was saying, <coughs> excuse me. What I was saying is um, you wear a watch on the opposite side of your dominant mm -hmm. hand. So if you right-handed, then you wear your watch on your left. Mm. And if you left-handed, then you wear it on the right. And the reason being, because every watch has got a crown. 
So the crown, because your your right hand is dominant, if you're right-handed, it's easy for you to um, kind of tune the watch so that I can say on the time that you want it to say. So that's the underlying reason for it. Okay. Now let's go straight on our screen. There's this handsome gentleman on the screen right now. Neatly dressed, perfectly looking like a gentleman. He is... Is he actually a gentleman? He's wearing earrings and all of that colored shoe with, I mean, the rose, colored rose there. Is that a perfect gentleman? Yeah, I would say yes. But looking at the shoes mm -hmm. and the lapel pin, mm -hmm. I would want to ask where he's going. Mm -hmm. Is he going to a corporate event? Mm -hmm. Is he going to a wedding? Mm -hmm. Because looking at where what he's wearing, mm -hmm. I wouldn't take this to any corporate event. I wouldn't take it to an office. I wouldn't take it to, I mean, any board meeting or anything of a where sort. Where can you take it to? I can take it to a wedding. Okay. With what he's wearing. Okay. Because the shoes are very bright mm -hmm. and he's matching it with a lapel a flower pin. Mm -hmm. So I would take this to a wedding. Okay. Leslie, your take on the look? Um, I think he's elegantly dressed. Like he said, is, is obviously not something for a corporate event. Going to a corporate event, I would prefer a crisp white shirt and also shoes shoes might probably be out of place for a corporate event but also for me i always believe if you're gonna wear a formal suit then you should always wear a pair of socks socks are critical with this so i would add other socks to it mm -hmm. but then the red is a bit in your face and for me i think this is probably something for a social event as opposed to a corporate okay we'll still come back to the socks again anyway have your money well, uh, beautiful navy suit. Uh, I like the paisley necktie, but the knot it's way big. It's, it's, it's a no for me. <laughs> and uh, the red, the red loafers and the lapel pin is quite loud. Mm. Even though red signals power and authority, but it's quite loud for me in this picture. So I but think should your shoes match the lapel pin? Not necessarily. You shouldn't. Yeah. No, I don't think so. it, it becomes matchy matchy, and yeah. I don't like that kind of, you know, okay. personally, I don't like that kind of dress. Okay. Okay. So let's look at this gentleman too. He is not wearing socks. Um, Leslie, you mentioned you talked about the socks. I mean, this looks quite different. Is this something you can wear with the socks? Well, like I said, if you dress formally, then I believe you should wear socks with it because it actually enhances the look. It, it, without the socks, it takes it away, it gives it an informality to the overall outfit. So for me, I think a socks is required in this in this situation. But generally, I like the look. I think yeah, it's, it's I really nice. I think he, yeah. he looks quite smart. Except I feel like being formal, he needs the socks to okay. go with it. Okay, maybe a uh, Well, uh, I like the suits. Uh, I like the lapels. I like, I like the pant calf and, and, and the color of the suit as well. But then the socks, well, it's a no for me. I mean, well, you know, in fashion, there are a lot of, there isn't a lot of uh, faced rules of yes or no okay. or no. But, you know, the few that it does have can be broken stylishly. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe, you know, he's trying to develop his own personal style by not wearing the socks and all that. Mm, okay. Well, it's good. It's okay. cool. Yeah, this is a look that I so love. I think I have it on my phone. This is some kind of a new trend. I'm talking about the shoe. Mm. You know, there's a new socks, like a half socks that you can actually wear with the shoe, where it wouldn't have to show on your leg that you are wearing a socks, mm. but there's a socks for it. Mm. This goes for almost everywhere. You can take this to every event mm -hmm. because his suit and the tie and the shirt match perfectly for every occasion y you get me so probably and the shoe more or less looks like a loafer kind of shoe this is not a full shoe mm -hmm. this is a more or less a loafer shoe mm -hmm. so it's good the okay. look is very good all right so it's been an exciting show today it's all about men's fashion and we are learning a lot ladies if you're not here make sure next week you're here with us call your gentleman to sit by you make sure you are that perfect lady if you want to be that perfect lady for that gentleman you have to know more about their fashion sense so next week we are still continuing with the i mean essentials of a gentleman's wardrobe a very big thanks to cura living for our lovely doco uh, fan at ghana for the set of furniture 
and don't forget Nalem Ayed Dead. That's the new promo in this Wagana month. Make sure you go to Nalem. Nalem is here in Accra and then be a part of the promo. Jo enjoy up to 60% discount. Nalem is in Accra or West Hills Mall, um, Airport Terminal 2 and 3. And then enjoy up to 60% discount on items that you purchase at Nalem Store. We're on Facebook, Slayers TV, Instagram, Twitter, Slayers TV, GH, on YouTube, Slayers TV, Ghana. My name is Maud Ade. Have a good night. Oh, 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 oh,